Well, don't want to sound like a dick or nothing, but uh, it says on your chart that you're fucked up. Uh, you talk like a fag, and your shit's all retarded. What I do is just like, like you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, I, I'm serious here. <laughs> don't worry, Skrull. Now there are plenty of tards out there living really kick-ass lives. My first wife was tarded. She's a pilot now. I, I need for you to be serious for a second here, okay? I, I need help. There's that fag talk we talked about. <laughs> All right, so that'll be this many dollars. And if you could just go ahead and, like, put your tattoo in that shit. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Zindu the Alien. What was the fuck? Zindu the Alien Radio. <laughs> uh, you might be able to tell that I'm not Nick the Rat, because guess what? Nick the Rat's on vacation. He deserved it. He, he he spent two years doing this podcast, not one vacation. He took a uh, he took off like a week or so. He'll be back next week. Don't worry about it. And uh, I, I thought I'd fill in for him. But uh, th- this is episode 100, was 81? Holy shit, he's been doing this a long time without any breaks. People, fucking send your money. Send your cash. Don't send blankets. Anyway, today, today it's going to be a Zindu special. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, but don't worry about that because you guys don't have the attention span for a long episode anyway. If you know. <laughs> ah, well, you know, we're going to do things a little bit differently tonight, but, um, oh. Looks like Nick left me some whiskey here. Some of this, uh, Dub- what the- what is this Dublin whiskey? This fucking, what is this, Rip Off Jameson? Jesus Christ. Hope you're drinking better shit out there in, uh, Ireland there, Nick. Anyway, uh, <laughs> tonight we're gonna be, uh, if you couldn't judge what we're gonna be talking about by the intro, we're gonna be talking about stupid humans. Yes, stupid humans and the, the aliens who hate them. Uh, personally, I came to Earth by accident. I was looking for some, I heard there were some easy girls here, so I came here, I found them, but then my spaceship broke down, and I had to, catch a, I had to get a job, and uh, working for Nick was the only thing I could do, so here I am, you know what I mean? And that's all I can really say. So tonight we're going to be talking about that, oh man, I said so again, fucking, hey, did you, I, think, I think you humans are turning me stupid. I'm taking on your mannerisms, and your, your dialects, and your, your phonetics. Etc. Etc. As opposed to playing electronical music tonight, I thought we'd have something a little bit more uh, stimulating. If if you know what I'm trying to say, a little stimulant. So we are, we will be listening to a bunch of uh, classical music tonight. I think it'll be about like an hour long of an episode, give or take. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All this music comes from Kevin McLeod, Incompetech.com. If you go there, you can find this somewhere. It's free music. I'm not paying. I'm not paying for anything. Uh, we're, we're not taking any live calls tonight because my claws can't operate the soundboard. That was part of the reason that Nick had to give me a pay cut. I, I did have the job for him, but I couldn't work the soundboard and the fucking phone thing because I got these claws over here that are that's great for fucking grabbing titties and ass, but. It sucks at fucking hitting knobs. Anyway, let's get back to... Uh, we're going to listen to a little bit of music right now. Uh, what should we start this off with? You know, uh, I'm feeling kind of like a, like a king. So let's play Hall of the Mountain King, everybody. I'll be right back after this with the Hall of the Mountain King. Thank you. 
wasn't that great. That was a fantastic song. I like to masturbate to it. It makes me feel like the king of the mountain. If you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. So anyway, fuck, I said so. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're going to get into this. Maybe I should get more to drink. No, nah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. Look, everybody. Nick is up in Ireland right now. So while he's gone, I'm going to put some, I'm going to hide whoopee cushions all over the sewer and fill them with mayonnaise. So he sits down, it farts and squirts shit all over the place. It's going to be gross. I can't wait for him to get back and see that little rat bastard's face. Humans. Humans are stupid creatures. How do I know? It's because they haven't really left the planet yet and colonized the universe like like Zindu and my people did with the Oktarians. We're we're in all we're all over the fucking universe. You can't hold us down. We have tech we have light speed spaceships. Well near light speed. It's, it's pretty close. Actually, it's not even really, uh, you know what, I, I, I'm not really supposed to tell you about the technology, but it's warp technology. It rips a hole in the fabric of time space, and we go right into the hole, and we pop out anywhere we really want. We don't really have to go that fast. We just like to la- say light speed because it makes humans, their eyes bulge out. Now, you might be saying, hey, Zindu, well, if you could do that, w- why don't you go home? Well, I told you, as I said, when I ripped open the fucking time-space continuum and, and moved my jalopy of a spaceship through, the shit broke down. I don't know. It, maybe somebody... Wait. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe somebody did some some sabotage on my spaceship. All right, well, okay. Humans might be assholes, but... Stupid, I mean. But, but Oktarians are assholes. Uh, humans are stupid assholes. Oktarians are just... St- Assholes. They're not stupid. They're too smart. Maybe too smart for their own good. I've seen how humans work. They they get their information from, like, books and words and stuff. See, Oktarians, we're so smart because we use our minds to, and we just, we could transfer tons of information in, like, a second. Like a, you know, bam, bam. I know all the history of everything. I know all the technology. I know all the information. You just have to be a couple meters and next to another Octarian. So, well, when I get back there, they're going to get a lot of Earth information. They might uh, ban me or something, but um, you know, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a hard transition. But I'm going to get back there. We're going to have a, we're going I'm going to I'm going to get back to Oktar and see my mom soon. <laughs> I can't wait to see her again. I miss her. Uh, this actually this next song kind of reminds me of her. Uh, cello Sweet One in G because my my mom always wears a G string. And, uh, yeah, she used to pluck it and play this song for me when I was a little Oktarian. I guess there was other uh, Oktarians that came to Earth because I heard this music before. I know I did. I'm just saying. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm picking up all these stupid human sayings. Just like, no, not mean, not saying. Anyway, let's let's listen to the music. Let's have a nice sit back, a little relax. Uh, grab a drink, grab a smoke, grab a, grab a titty, grab an ass. <laughs> yeah, baby, let's listen to this shit. CeeLo Sweet. Cello Sweet. CeeLo Sweet. <laughs> We're not playing dice. Cello Sweet, 1NG, Prelude. Only on Zindu the Alien Radio. <laughs>
good at math. I was always promised no math. I, there will be no math on this show. Um, so Maybe by the end you'll be good at it. I know. <laughs> and then, is math related to science? When did you learn equals MC squared? This Just now. <laughs> no. I really did. Most people who could be born will never be born, will never even exist. Few well, of is us that because there's not enough souls? Dude, we, I, we, <laughs> we, 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 oh wow, that was a uh, that was Ka Katy Perry talking to Neil Neil deGrasse Tyson over there. Jeez, she she her brain might be small, but boy, I'd still I'd grab those titties. And, geez, you know what? I I think I have a thing for these Earth women. I don't know why it's, they're so ooh, they're so succulent. They're not they're not filled with brains, but they're filled with blood. If you know. Nom, 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 nom. Er, uh, well, what do you expect from these superstars? You humans, you you give them money, and all they do is like sing a two minute song. Actually, they're only Katy Perry sings about like five seconds of song with some beats somebody else made, and and she looks hot. And and you got to be stupid if you fall for the hotness factor because uh, you you st oh man, she's so hot. Though. I just I I I'd, I'd uh I put cotton in my ears. And then, then put her face down my pants, if you know what I'm talking. Oh boy! Ah, uh, okay. We're, we're talking. We're talking about dumb humans tonight, not horny aliens. So let's get back on topic. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He, he's he's not so dumb. He's pretty smart. He he does he does some math and stuff. And he he claimed Pluto is not a planet, which he's probably right because Pluto is about as big as the zit on my ass right now. You can pop it and it's gone. It's all fucking gone. It's gravy. Uh yeah. So he's he's a pretty entertaining, dude. Uh, Katy Perry, you know, ooh, man, yeah, ooh, uh, okay, uh, wow, okay, well, uh, man, this, this is getting a little hard to do this show, I'm sorry, <laughs> oh, oh boy, okay, everybody, well, uh, you know, we're gonna get back on topic, the topic is stupid humans, and the tricks they do, I feel like I'm David Letterman now, I've seen that show, uh, if you put a $5 bill on a stick and you twirl it in the air, you know how many humans you can get dancing around you? That kind of reminds me of that joke. If you throw a penny down the street, no, nah, I'm not going to go there. That's that's a that's a bad joke, and I don't want to get uh, Nick in trouble with anybody. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to calm down a little bit. It's probably all this Dublin uh, whiskey that's uh, well, it's getting to me. Okay, well, you know, let's get to another song really quick here because we don't have all night. We got to get over. We got to get. We got to get the show on the road. We got to get out of here as soon as fast as possible because I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I got a freaking, ooh, boy, I'm going to probe Katy Perry tonight. Yeah. Uh, let's listen to Egmont Overture Finale, only here on Zindu the Alien Radio. Everybody, uh, so you might be saying, 
Hey, Zindu, look, we have buildings, we have electricity, yeah, yeah, you got some impressive stuff. I'm not gonna say you don't, but you also have some really crazy bad stuff like war and death and murder and robbery and poverty and hunger and oh my god. Look, you guys really, you should be way past all this garbage. You guys got, you guys have the technology and the know-how to like kind of get by, but humans are ingrained with something that, that's, that, that makes you, st- it enforces stupidity. It's called greed and, and I guess evilness, but evilness is kind of like a whole other topic. It's not really, it's not really something that's there. It's, it's, that's, that's from those, uh, Zen Blarblian aliens that they, they invaded earth a long time ago and they went to the human genome and they just put this thing that you guys call evil in there, but it's actually called fun. Uh, but your species wasn't meant for this quote unquote fun and it's really fucked you guys up a lot but the main thing that you had before we even got here was something called greed now you you you, you humans you use your greed to fucking put people down to keep them stupid and to make them buy shit that they don't need so you guys have been really just been fucking really jerk offs to each other and that's that's the main reason you're stupid is because uh the the, the people that have st- that have or have not, or trying to fuck over those, the, the other ones that have or have not. But what you don't realize is that you all have the same stuff. It's just that you just want to take it from each other because you don't want to do it yourself. It's like, oh, look at that. That guy has something I want. I'll take it. Instead of getting it yourself or asking him to share or or uh, tell him, telling you how you got it. You know what I'm trying to say? Over, you guys got to come together. And if you come together, you can make a nice big pool of semen and, and have a pool party. Uh, oh, that's that's a little gross. Uh, but I, I did that once at David Carradine's house. But we're going to talk about that maybe at another point. Uh, let's let's go back to the music because it's the music really soothes the savage beast. And uh, nothing soothes it more than uh, the trio for piano, violin, and viola. Let's listen to, let's tune into that, and uh, I'll be back a little bit later. Bye. I be flying. I believe I can fly. I am a unicorn. You are a unicorn. We are unicorns. Do you know how powerful you are? Oh boy, that was uh, Puff Daddy, man. He's uh, he really got lucky with that big fat guy that could rap real great, man, man. See, why, people, you, people are so stupid. You got uh, a, a great poet killed. Well, I guess that was his own fault. He, he killed himself. He was doing really well for himself, but he got mixed up in the rap game and you know, the crack game and, and the gangster game. He got, he got knocked off. And what was it, the whole fucking reason? It's because, oh, the, the East Coast is better than the West Coast? Come on, guys. If you're really going to have a fight, make it an intergalactic war. You got to really fucking, you got to drop bombs on other planets and stuff, not just take out, like, fucking, the, the, you're on the same planet. You shouldn't really be doing the left and the right. You should be doing fucking whole entire planets. That's how you take over the world, baby. Uh, usually, uh, Nick would play uh, voicemails, but we're not doing that tonight because, once again, I don't know how to fucking work the the, the, the board. Uh, I guess we can probably, probably play plumps plans. So let's play an, uh, an advertisement, and we shall be right back. 
Yeah, baby. Ah, oh, man, I should get a job in radio. I have uh, the fucking the kaputs for this shit. <laughs> oh, man. The ladies are going to love me. Give me a call, ladies. 917-719-5923. Just leave a message and Nick maybe will play it next week. Let him know how I did. Maybe he'll give me a raise. Instead of giving me peanuts, he'll give me fucking uh, macaroons or something. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, baby loves macaroons. Want good head? Get better brain. How ask you? Eat our pills. Brain pills by Drano. Only Drano care. Why care us? We love money. What pill do? Make brain grow. Big brain, good head. Call now. 917-719-5923. Are you feeling down in the sewer? Need a quick pick-me-up? We heard you, and we made a brew. Dark Sewer Coffee. From 100% GMO and gluten-free, wild-caught, grass-fed beans, these artisanally grown masterpieces were produced in a Brooklyn sewer. Each bean was given a name and a story, and for as little as 69 cents a cup, you too can have a damn fine cup of coffee. Dark Sewer Coffee. For the caffeine fiend in you. Wasn't that fucking lovely? Fucking those commercials. Paying the bills, getting shit done with. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, let's, uh... uh, God. God damn, this is fucking some weird-ass whiskey. Dublin. Yeah, get some Jameson. What the fuck are you doing anyway? Let's, uh, listen to a song because we got a lot of songs to go. We don't want to spend too much time playing them. We got Takata. And Fugi in D minor. Toccata and Fugue. This sounds like some Italian whack job over here. Like, uh, Toccata and then Fugue is in fucking D minor over here. Let's, uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back after this fucking song. Some of this fight. Fuck you! <laughs> Vindo! <laughs>
I'm so happy Nick gave me off from doing the news last week. You know, if 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 he's going to actually make me do a whole episode, it's it's only right of him to uh let me have a week off because he's he's taking next week off. So I should have had, you know, last week off, which I did. But he left me with this shitty Dublin shit. This fuck. Let me take another drink over here. <laughs> ah, yeah. That gets my alien tits moist. Ah, stupid humans. Look, you can't have, you can't have a democracy because a straight up democracy with you freaking apes causes a uh, chaos, havoc. There's going to be the power of the many. And sometimes, you ever watch, uh, what was that movie called? I saw it. It was with that Will Smith character. Uh, Men in Black. Yeah. It was a, it was a decent one. The first one. It was, I, I, Tommy Lee Jones makes my uh, alien nipples wet. I've been, I really should look into getting nipple pads or something. Because my nipples been really wet this past episode. Anyway. Uh, uh, d- 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 David Lee Jones, uh, Tommy Lee Longpecker, uh, David Lee Long John, whatever his name was in the movie. He, he basically laid it out. He said that humans by themselves are smart, but humans in groups, <clears throat> they're fucking stupid. And you know, that's, it's true. So a democracy, a pure democracy, you can't have that. Because if you had a pure democracy, that means you're just stupid because you're all in one group. And then it's like, oh... I like milk. Well, I like milk, too. And then that third guy that's like, well, milk kills me if I drink it. He's fucked because milk is now the national drink. And that's all you could drink now because those two other fuckers said so. But then on the other coin flip of the fucking dingo's anus, you can't have an anarchy either because you just wind up taking shit because you're so greedy and jealous. Like I pointed out earlier in the episode, I was like, hey, you know, you fucking you're just greedy, jealous bastards. Yeah, makes me sick. See, an anarchy is the way to go. It, it, but you have to be able to love thy brother in that situation. If you can't love your own brother, well, then, he, well, one, you won't go to jail, so I guess that's good. But two, then you might gonna wind up trying to steal his shit and, and murdering his wife and raping his fucking whatever, his pet goat. And then and then after that, you're fucked, you know, so you don't really want to be doing that shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You, you humans, you... you, you 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 need to have no privacy in your like on Oktar, we can read each other's minds and that really levels everybody out because if you think something bad about me it's fine because i'm thinking something even worse about you and then what are we supposed to do fucking eye for an eye makes the whole world blind right you know what um we're going to well let's play some more music because this is this is i need to relax a little bit more and that last song made me feel like i was a fucking vampire or some shit and it's really it's really making me fucking uh, horny my nipples are <laughs> my nipples are wet again. Let's listen to Rons de Vachis. Rons de This is Zindu. Just want to say thank you for listening to uh, Zindu in the sewer radio. And uh, if you like what you hear. You could donate to Nick because he pays me. He's actually given me uh, 20 shrimp or something. Prawns, he said. I think he was talking about uh Yeah, he's going to pay me pretty good. Anyway, let's listen to Ron's Devachis. Bye. <laughs>
President, another student asks, Iranian women are now denied basic human rights and your government has imposed draconian punishments, including execution on Iranian citizens who are homosexuals. Why are you doing those things? Mutlaka. ما در ایران ما در ایران اولا هم جنس باز مثل کشور شما نداریم. We don't have homosexuals like in your country. کشور ما چه چیز وجود نداره. We don't have that in our country. در ایران این چیزا وجود در ایران در ایران این ایران چیزی اصلا وجود خارجی نداره. We do not have this phenomenon. I don't know who's told you that we have it. ما در باری اما در Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, sure, like there's a, yeah, sure. Do you have any dolphins in Iran? Well, because if you do, you have gay people, because let me tell you. You know what, but sticking your, your, your ding-dong and on into on to other ding-dong, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. Like, if, if you jerk off, does that make you gay? You ever think about that there? I don't know if this, does that mean that the, the, the Iranian dude never fucking touched himself? Because, hey, if you touch a dick. That means you're gay and you should be stoned to death, but that doesn't exist there. I don't know. I don't know. See, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, questionable things and religion and stuff. You guys have religion. Like, uh, thousands of years ago, somebody, like, wrote a book to keep control over the slaves from rebelling against a couple of people in power. And, and you still follow it today, a large percentage of you fucking weird humans. I don't know. I'm not trying to bash religion. Sure, in Oktar, we have a religion, but it's basically to rub mayonnaise on your feet and to think dirty thoughts into, into other people's heads in hopes that they might uh, return the favor to get you off, too. And, you know, it's just a very lovely, loving thing. But it seems religion's very full of hate, like the Crusades and, and all these other things, all these wars, the, the religious wars and the Jews and, and the Palestinians, they're killing each other. And, and, it's, and also, what about sports? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, Joe, who's really good at throwing a ball, lives in uh, New York. But uh, uh, somebody in in uh, the fucking, I don't know, Ohio had enough money to buy him. So now Joe from New York moves to Ohio to throw a ball. And now the people that live in New York, when they see Ohio versus the New York team, they, they, they tell Joe to suck a dick and die because they're not on his team anymore. Like, what the fuck, guys? Seriously, like, we all could get into a little bit of a uh, fun little uh, shenanigans and gameplay and all that. But, but I once wore my New Jersey's devil fucking jersey because I like the devils and stuff. I wore it outside. And guess what happened to me? Like 30 people wearing ranger shirts all took shits and pisses on me. It was really, it was disturbing. Come on. Like, like just because you don't like the team doesn't mean you have to treat me bad. Like, can't you respect my opinion too? There's no truth behind which team is better than the other team. Ah, gee, you, you guys are a bunch of monkeys. Like, it's really, I don't know why I'm here anymore. I'm getting really upset and I think we should listen to a little bit more music. We're going to put on a minstrel guide. Not Minstrel Guide. What the f- I can't even read. Minstrel Guild. <laughs> Don't forget that this is Zindu Radio coming to you all night, at least till, uh, I don't know, a fucking, uh, couple more, couple more songs. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to eat up too much airtime. Nick billed me for an hour, so I might give him a little bit more, a little bit less. I don't fucking care about him. He's in Ireland anyway. He might be, he might not come back. His plane might crash. <laughs> oh, God, I hope not, cause he, he still owes me some, uh, he owes me like 20 bucks. Anyway, Minstrel Guild, enjoy, you fucking monkeys. Grow up.
Hello, everybody. Are you suffering from mental stress? Possibly your soul being sucked from your body and thrown across the universe. Here and there, willy-nilly. Are you having difficulties concentrating? Are you having problems in the bathroom? Possibly even the bedroom? Where are your problems? I don't know, but I have the cure for you. It is the Dark Sewer Cure All. Find out more. Now, 917-719-5923. Everybody get some! Hello, everybody. Are you suffering from mental stress? Possibly your soul being sucked from your body and thrown across the universe. Here and there, willy-nilly. Are you having difficulties concentrating? Are you having problems in the bathroom? Possibly even the bedroom? Where are your problems? I don't know, but I have the cure for you. It is the Dark Sewer Cure All. Find out more. Now, 917-719-5923. Everybody get some!
There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. Doing a better job of talking to each other. Well, now, that last song we just heard was uh, Dance Macabre, Dance dance with the Corn and the Cob, Dance uh, dance Cabra. Uh, and that last uh, clip we heard was, uh, that was uh, El Presidente Bush. Yeah, remember people used to hate him and now they all hate Trump. If you had to compare the two, Trump versus uh, Bush, who, who who do you hate more? I don't, I don't know. Some people might say one or the other. I really... I really don't give a fuck, basically. They're both, whatever. They're fuck, They're figureheads. They're representatives of the bigger problem. And the bigger problem is humans. God damn it, that's what we're talking about tonight. Uh, the issues... The issues that, that uh, exist on Earth are mostly due to humans, but actually... The biggest issue on Earth is Earth itself. It's it's a it's a natural occurring thing. It doesn't really care or fucking do anything. Like you put a billion humans on Earth and they fucking they fuck each other. They eat the food. They die. Guess what? The Earth's still there. It doesn't really care. The, the plants, nature, it'll exist as long as the, the the situation's right. It's not like well, I guess. I guess humans could change what is quote unquote right, but guess who even knows what the word right even means? It's not like the planet's thinking like, oh, this shit's fucked. It's not like it's, it, it, I don't even think the animals think this shit's fucked. I was watching this thing where these, these, uh, these, these birds eat these other birds. They don't really care. You, you give a pigeon some chicken. They're not going to say, holy shit. That's like my cousin. They'll fucking eat it. They don't really care. See, humans, they're a little only fucked up because they, uh, they, they farm things. Animals are fucked up just because they are fucked up. Like, the, you know how many times there's a, what is that, infant, infant, you eat your babies, baby, infant, fidelity, infidelity, infant, infant, fatality, inf, like a fatality for babies, babalities. You know how many babalities existed in nature? Like, if a bunny rabbit has one too many kids, guess what they're having tonight for dinner? Oh, it just popped out of my vagina. Now it's going to be back in my stomach as food. Nutritious, delicious. This is great. Let's let's move on. They don't even think about it. But humans, oh my God, you show a human that they'll start crying and they'll fucking, they'll, but you show another bunny rabbit that, guess what they're going to do? No, they're going to shit on you and then probably try to fuck you and then eat you. They don't really care. But humans will put this whole meaning behind it. They'll put this whole fucking story together. And guess what? You guys are just a bunch of just jerks. I just, uh, wait, let's see. I did, uh, 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 one second here. Uh, Nick has sent me a message from Ireland. He's telling me to, what, really? He's telling me to wrap it up. Hold on. Let me just write it right here. I'm having a great time. Um... Okay, I sent him the message, and it looks like uh, he wants me to wrap it up. So, uh, you know, I think I hope you all had a great night tonight. I hope you enjoyed the music. I played some of Human's best music. That's for free by whatever. Um, hold on once. He's sending me another message here. He's telling me I did a, a shitty job, and I should be lucky that I have my job next week. Hold on one second. Let me give him a piece of my mind. You lucky fuck that I wasn't able to do this for you, you jerk off. And now you're coming on to the thing and you're telling me I did a bad job for fucking covering you. Uh... Okay, yeah, so he could take... He could take that shit and stick that up his rat butthole. Anyway, I hope you had a great time in Ireland. I hope you had a great time in the sewer. Uh, He'll be back next week. He probably will have another light show because he's going to be drinking a lot of Guinness, he's told me. And, uh, you know, he's coming back, I think, on, like, Tuesday, and the show is Wednesday, so don't expect too much from him. I'm surprised he gets the shit out every week like he does anyway. I I basically write the show for him. Don't tell him I told you that because uh, maybe, maybe I don't do that. I just I'm trying to take more credit than I actually have. 
Uh, we're gonna wrap it up with one more song. This is my this is this is the top. This is my favorite song that humanity has ever created. It's called Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh my god, I fucking love this one. This one, whenever I meet a girl and I got her in my car and I put my arm around her, I start playing this song. And guess who's getting lucky tonight? Zindu is! Anyway, I hope you had a great Wednesday and we'll see you again next week on Nick the Rat Radio. <laughs> I'll give it I'll give it to him one last time. Nick the Rat Radio. It's not it's not Zindu the Alien Radio. I was just making that shit up, but I might take over because, hey, you know, fuck that rat guy. Anyway, anyway, dance to the Sugar Plum Fairy. Have a great week, everybody. Love you so much. Bye.